So, hello everyone here on the Twitch streams and later on in YouTube as well, and welcome back to some more Dead Space. I'm so excited to be going and having to deal with all these asteroids. So excited. As in, not quite very excited, but <laughs> we'll do it anyways, no matter how excited or not I am. Is that actually the direction I need to go? Yeah, apparently I need to go down this way. Interesting. I didn't think that that would be the right way to go. Well, I just didn't even know this was a thing, I think, last time around, that there was a way to go down. So I can just investigate here, if I wish. This was the way to actually take something up, but I guess there's just nothing to really even pick up in here. And this I couldn't open. Anyways, I don't think... I can, actually. Alrighty. I'll open them then. Can I open this other one? Yes, I could. Alrighty, so I didn't loot this completely true. Hello, Ben Wall Dweller. Welcome to stream for you. I hope your weekend has been a good one. Or week, rather. Weekend start, but uh, otherwise a week. Alrighty. Okay. And yeah, I can't use this elevator. So yeah, the way I need to go is on the other side, but I can at least look if there was some more boxes I can be opening up in here. Not certain though, that's at least locked. That seems to be locked. And yeah, pretty much don't see anything else. So we can just be going and uh, starting to deal with the situation. I guess I can save considering I at least picked something up. Sure. Uh, chat. Yes. You may save. Okay. Uh, then we have this gun. How much ammo did we have for this one? Decent amount. Decent amount for the other one. What was that actually? Plus a flame fuel. I don't have a flame thrower though, so I really should be putting that into the storage. What's this storage place here close by? I think it was very close by, but... Where exactly was the shop? I think it was in the previous room. What are your rules on giving hints? I think I asked before, but it was a while ago. Um... Well, I guess it depends a little bit. <laughs> uh, on the other hand, I do like to explore everything, so indeed there was a... Uh, uh, I think Scrub Lord happened to say that he wished that someone would have said about the secret uh, door in some spot. So if I'm really going and missing something secret-like, then um, probably a hint for that would be fun. Nice, because it would still be nice to find it. Like, if I can find it on my own, that's great. But if I can't, then... Because it's not like I want to hear it immediately that, hey, there's a secret, by the way, door there, <laughs> if I just come into there. I don't know how the secret doors in here, they look, so it's not like I have any exactly idea what I should be looking for. Um, so yeah, I prefer to try to do a lot by myself, but on the other hand, it's nice to still be able to find something like that. So, it's a little bit difficult to say exactly, like, what should be the rule, though, so... Prefer to try to find things on my own. Prefer. But of course it's not like I always will be able to or can because... Well, I don't know the game that well. So... This move. I guess that's otherwise okay. Hey, so then, then oh, welcome to stream for you too. I hope your week has been faring you well. I guess that's all okay. At least I think so. So yeah, it's a little bit difficult. It's tricky to be saying like uh, when to give advice and when not. On the other hand, I want to be able to explore the full game. Find everything, so... Possible. And then I save immediately again, but it's just like... Well, I left that stuff there. Now at least I don't need to go and leave it there again if I, for some reason, would be going and dying. Ah, let's just go. Otherwise I'm not getting anywhere ever. Better for me to just go. Okay. 
captain's nest. Alrighty. Yeah, I was supposed to be meeting him at the bridge. Yeah. Uh, if I get stuck or miss something, then I'll give hints after a little bit of a time has passed. Yep. Not immediately or immediately, definitely, when I encounter a problem. And of course, I can myself also ask, especially if I actually get stuck. Uh, like, of course, the one time I, for example, just didn't remember how to do the jump. Then, obviously enough, I wanted to just find out how to do the jump. So that's, of course, a little bit different. Was that the suite, actually, that I got? I want to buy a suite upgrade so badly. If that was a suit level three, I think it was, but then I'm a little bit confused. Was it actually? Isaac. Hi. Damn, you scared me. The place is making me jumpy. Fucking asteroids coming through the roof. Look, I know Kendra doesn't trust me, but I don't know anything about a marker or anything else. This is supposed to be a repair mission. Plain and simple. This mess is the asteroid defense system. I can fix these boards, but the main power routing is shot. You're gonna have to reroute them manually through at least three junction boxes to activate the primary cannon. Oh, but first, you need to activate the atrium elevators from bridge security. You can use them to get to the junction boxes. Okay. By the way, Isaac, be careful. I saw something out there, I don't know what. I only got a glimpse, but it was big. Really big. Yeah. Also a tentacle sort of monster or whatever tried to eat me before, so that was at least definitely a pretty big uh, one too. And uh, just all floors in some places covered in uh, very weird skin-like stuff. So, credits. I'll take credits. <laughs> you love how I pronounce the word suit. Alrighty. I don't know if I pronounce it incorrectly. Maybe to some degree. Alrighty. There's at least some more loot for me before I need to do something else. And a break. Credits. I'll take credits. Hi, Mehdi. Welcome to the stream for you too. Hi, buddies. And, um... I hope your week has been well as well dex lock okay what do you say mining lock dallas a supervisor second engineer the dead doll is mounting known dead so far arnold fernandez d ashik m backwell w boa paris tiran o bricks r carilla r sentkovsky k shanti Shallow A, Sykes C, Colomar B, Country M. Is there lots more here? Uh, Dikusman J, Ding V, Trinkward C, Eckhart J, Esvelata T, Fatos S, Vase D, Felker T, Fike D, Fong C. Ah. Yeah, hey, even soon. I have a text lock. Fuentes C, Kamel S, Koki M, Kera CJ, Gregory L. Are these developers that have all died here? I don't know. Kwaman E, Harness E. Is there anything? Is this just all the names? I, I don't remember what was the girl's name that we came to rescue. What was her name? That's a lot of fatalities. It is extremely many fatalities, but I guess I shouldn't be trying to read them all because it will take me forever to try to get through all of these Tipodeux and Vocal C. Zitol K. Oh, lots of people. List of all of the dead people. Well, good luck with that, I guess. Music. Shit! Stand back! Well, that one was dead when I sealed the pod. These things don't die easily. That thing was dead when you sealed the pod. Alrighty then. Yeah, they do not die very easily. I do agree on that. Nothing that I can see on the other pods. Can I climb this up? Probably not. 
I was just looking that it almost looks like a ladder, but no. No, no, no. So, it's all hell broken loose over here and I go back up. Even more than it was previously by all of these asteroids. Possibly. Possibly not. Who knows. I'm not exactly certain where I need to go next. Um, yeah, alright, now into that direction that I thought that we would be going in already before. I do want to check the shop though. Eh, close. Because if it was the suit that I got, I want that. I very, very, very much want one. Want one. Nicole Prenan was the name, alrighty. And of course, like, reminding especially about names, because I'm not that good with names anyways, and then... <laughs> especially... Yes! It was a level 3 suit. I want that. I want that. Immediately. Increases inventory slots and armor. Yes. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Looks cool. Looks uh, slightly upgraded. The better. Yay. Can't basically afford anything else, but hey. That's quite a okay. I do want to check how much we actually have inventory space more now. couple of more slots. Still better than nothing. Air for 90 seconds armor is now then 10% with the level 3 suit. So that's a-okay. That's pretty good. I guess I could probably have more ammo with me now too. And carry more stuff with me. But I'm sure we'll be fine with this amount. And I'm sorry. I want to say now that I have this suit already upgraded and all. So I'll go here then we leave quickly. I don't want to be wasting our time and just saving all the time more and more, but <laughs> I just can't not go and save. Hello and good evening to you too. Hyvää ilta, Tayunta. Welcome to stream. I hope your weekend has been a very, well, not weekend, weekend start, but yeah, week has been very to you well. Ow. Ow. Your weapons can't punch through that thing's armor. Shoot it in the back, Isaac. Trying to like run, but I somehow just so like remember Mass Effect. Shoot it at the back. I saw that it was more vulnerable there, but that's still easier said than done. To be able to go and actually shoot it at the back. Ow. Yep, I'm pretty much dead. <laughs> can I get you to charge and then I can avoid it somehow? Because that's probably my only chance of actually doing and getting behind you. I don't know how I can do it otherwise. You did charge now, but it didn't really work out very well for me.
I'm just running and running and running. It's so difficult to time it so that I could actually get those seats in. I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm trying. Charge. No, don't shoot. I said charge. Is there other stuff going around here now? Quarantine lifted. Did it die? What happened? How did it die? I'm not quite certain. I don't understand. You have a tip for me, okay? <sighs> I'm not quite certain how it died. Like at all. How did it die? I don't quite understand. Yeah, uh... <sighs> I don't know. Uh, I do not know. Guess I can use one of these. Hmm. Ah, right. That's true. I just, uh, I do know that. Uh, but usually, of course, I've used it only on the doors. And then in here, I definitely didn't think about using the stasis. Even though it seems very much indeed a sensible option, especially when I would be going against something like this. But then I just... I haven't used it because it just hasn't seemed like it is needed. So I just haven't even remotely considered actually using it. I guess I would need to try to be learning to use it. Mm. Well... It died for some reason. I'm not just exactly sure why it died. It really didn't seem the most logical thing why it died there all of a sudden. I didn't shoot it anymore. Just sure I had done at least some damage to it before. This is true. Let me have this gun back. The monster dropped loot, by the way. Yeah, that I usually do always loot them but then in this case I was just like I don't see anything but I guess it is here somewhere probably it's just that it's here like you can't even see it because he's way too big I hope that's all he had doesn't seem like he has anything else for me it's just uh, too big it's way too big Sick. Make us whole again. That doesn't. That sounds weird. Make us whole again. Sure. That sounds like a good idea. It just died to screw with your mind. Is it tactic? You see. <laughs> yeah. Hammond said your weapons can't punch through the thing. My armor not entirely true. Your gun was doing damage, just not that much. Okay. But I did get also some shots at the back. I know that. I did get some shots at the back before, but just very little because, yeah, it's difficult. Uh, my plan was just thinking that, okay, I would get it to charge at me so that it would go through and then I could be more easily getting behind it. But um, again, it usually came very close before it wanted to do any sort of a charge or anything of a like. And usually when I tried to go and evade it, I tried to use the space like, hey, I'll just dodge to the right or left. But uh, that's the massive tree thing, not here. Ma space doesn't help me that much in here. It really doesn't. <sighs> Elevator control. Power note. Is this the upgrade bench? Yes. I was hoping to find one of these soonishly. Certainly was. Ah, 
I shouldn't have picked up so many <laughs> medium healing bags or medium healing bags overall with me if I'm getting this many of them now. I wonder, should I upgrade something else too than just always my plasma cutter? Hit points. Range. Energy duration. So like duration would be... <sighs> Against those sort of enemies I guess it would be useful. It just feels weird to be using into it now. Kinesis module is just range. But at least that's something you can upgrade immediately. Hmm, awesome books. And then health I kind of would like, but it's two nodes to just get the first health point upgrade. So it just like it just feels the most sensible for me to upgrade this when I have been starting to do this. Um speed. Not exactly certain what it does, the speed in this case. Like, is it also the reload speed? No, but the reload speed is separate. So speed, how quickly you can just shoot, I guess. Uh, so I have a little bit more speed and a little bit more damage. Hmm. Would I want to rather have more reload speed? Or would I want to have more capacity? Which would also lead then, well, both of them lead to more damage spot for sure. Wees. I guess I could take a little bit of capacity. And the last note I will save if I happen to find a door that would require a power note. I think that's an okay plan. This weapon is at least pretty upgraded. Yeah, that's what I thought that it's the rate of fire, and this is normally not very fast weapon, so it definitely I would assume is gonna be helpful to have the. Yeah, a little bit more ammo and then just uh, that it can do that faster. How much did I already have in my inventory now? Kind of a lot of health packs. But I guess it's okay. I can even use one now of these small ones as such, considering I don't have full health, so sure. I guess I can max it. Mm. I'm sure that's enough ammo. But yeah, it's just the rate of fire. Nothing really else. Nothing really else, I presume. I'm just going to save way too often, but it's just like... I like to have everything in order before I then go and uh, start to head down and stuff. Let's see. So, I assume to the elevator it is then. Must there some other... Well, did I miss some control over there then? Hmm... Um, uh, it was this, wasn't it? Yeah. There's supposed to be something more in here that I missed. Ah, just this elevator, yep. I didn't miss it, but I forgot. Atrium elevators are now online. Okay. It's just that they are online. Then now I need to go to an elevator. I presume as much. Um... Alrighty. Okay. Okay. Sometimes the map is weirdly like far and not in the spot where I would assume it to be. Video look. This is mutiny. You'll all be tried for mutiny. <laughs> Kind. Make them listen to reason. Settle down, then. Hold him. By Maritime Law, Article 5469, I hereby declare Captain Benjamin Matthias unfit for duty. The marker must be delivered to the church. Terence, please! I'm sorry, Ben, but I can't let you do this. Traitor. Heretic! Hold his head. Murderer! Hold him! Alrighty. He's dead. 
No, it was an accident. I, I had to stop him. Arrest the doctor. Weird stuff, then so suddenly like, arrest the doctor. Okay, strange. <laughs> they killed Ben slash me, well, mm, I guess so, but you were a captain. We did find the captain's corpse before, so that's kind of very interesting, but I'm not sure. Is that some sort of a cult that has been going on in here that then indeed has have they been influenced by the aliens already so that they haven't delivered that marker to wherever it was supposed to be delivered? Was it a good thing that they didn't deliver it? Was it the bad thing? I'm, I'm not certain, to be frank. Not entirely certain about that all. Well. It's quite a ways down. Door is definitely on this side. That was a scream. Not certain, I was uh, very appreciated of that scream. I heard a very clear woman scream. Ishimura Ship Systems Department. Sure. Seems very safe, especially when the lights are going out. Extreme safeness brings into my mind. 800 bucks. Woohoo. I wanted to actually look into the map. Where are we? Like, yeah, th th I do have to f say that it's sometimes extremely weird how... I don't know how to control the map then when it's like puts us into this sort of spot and I don't know. I don't see where we would be. Are we even further down? Where exactly are we? I don't see. Definitely can't say I see. I do not see. Unfit for duty, stabbed in the eye. Maybe it was a banshee, maybe. Maybe it was a banshee screaming. That's definitely true. It could be a possibility. Unlikely possibility, but a possibility regardless. <laughs> I'll welcome all the ammo that I can have. Oh, safe spot. Surely nothing will try to kill me while I go to save. After a long journey down with the elevator. Not certain if I'm a little bit too hopeful in this matter. I hear some whispers. I hope I don't have to be meeting those uh, type of enemies too often. What schematic? Contact beam. Okay, whatever that may be. Personal only storage. I saw somebody. I don't quite trust this thing though. I di told you I didn't trust you. And I think I was correct on the fact of not trusting you. A single moment. I take the ammo. Sure. I can take that ammo too. And then I can destroy a box. And take more ammo. So many ammos. Start is to recharge. Well, I don't have full stasis, so sure, I can do that. Can't open that box though. Yep, it certainly looked like it was going to be coming and trying to attack me. It was certainly alive. I was thinking that whenever I see a corpse of that kind laying about, I feel that it's gonna come alive. <laughs> Sometimes the corpse moves on their own. Yes, sometimes. Sometimes they do. The most weird thing about that was simply the fact that it didn't like uh, start to be. Uh, it didn't make really any noise it until looks it like died. The gravity plating is malfunctioning. Keep an eye out for any kind of distortion effect coming from the floor. It could be dangerous. 
distortion effect from the floor. That doesn't sound healthy at all. I don't know if I like that. I don't like that, actually. I can say it already. I don't like that sound of that. Uh, ship systems warning. Sensitive equipment. Yes, I would imagine there's a lot of sensitive equipments involving ships. I would assume, especially when we're talking about spaceships, even more so. There's also plenty of blood. And I hear those whispers again. Why do I hear whispers all the time? What happened to it exactly? It just died. Was that the same weird stuff going on the floor that killed it? I don't quite know. What killed you? Warning, warning, warning. Ishimura crew members, your ship is full of fragile equipment. Please take care around emergency door locks and other sensitive devices. In case of damage and stuff. Yeah, I guess that pulls killed it. So avoid the weird stuff from there. Whatever that is. Don't really know what it is, but it's something. Something that killed the monster. I do appreciate it killing the monster too. Um, I guess I can avoid it if I go from the edge here. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, that if you just go carelessly into there, you're gonna be dead. Silly monster. Just giving me more and more examples that I shouldn't be walking into that floor. Thank you. Okay. There you go. I could have tried to just wait you or if I could push you somehow into one of those floors, I guess. Monsters aren't very good at avoiding those, though. Did any of the other bodies have something for me? I'm not certain, but I don't know if I wanna try to go there and loot right now. Well, I guess I might as well try to check. Doesn't seem you had anything for me, though. Some bodies do have something for me and some bodies do not. Very mean. I would like to know what this stuff is about, though. Some sort of energy field? Mm. Floor ceilings, the enemy of my enemy. <laughs> yes, indeed. It's quite nice. In all honesty. Though I am sure it would try to kill me, too. I'm very surprised you're alive still. I guess you learned. From the previous ones that you shouldn't be walking onto those spots, even though I was very clearly waiting for you behind this so that you would be going there, but no, you just wanted to avoid it and make me waste my ammo on you. It's a gravity malfunction, yes, but... What is it exactly? <laughs> gravity malfunction, I guess it makes sense in a sense because uh, they do those zero gravity areas too and all. So in that sense, it's quite sensible. It's still weird. Why is it so deadly? I guess it just like rips you apart. <laughs> So much noise for such a little thing. You make too much noise. Way too much noise. You're so small and you make so much noise. Why are you so bad? Why are you so efficient at making noises? Hmm. Well, I definitely haven't used stasis in here right now. So. It was like this. Yes, service. 
probably shouldn't go and make it so that I can't go back there anymore, so... Go a little bit more into there, I guess. Strange, I can't hear the plasma cutter when you shoot or reload it. Weird. Didn't you? Doesn't keep that much noise, but it is there. I didn't hear it exactly when I reloaded. I didn't hear anything special in that. This is true. I don't hear anything special from reloading. No. That's supposed to make a noise. Hmm. Where are you? Where did I hear that noise coming from? Now I heard it shoot, yes. Doesn't it's not the most noise noisy, yes, but it definitely makes a sound. I don't like this. I don't like it when there's a couple of directions where the enemies can be coming from. All at the same time basically. Certainly this is a safe spot when there's this much blood in it. <sighs> I know you're here somewhere, enemy. Don't be such a coward. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I'm moving about. Why can't you? God darn it. It's just they're waiting for me. I, I'm not clicking that button anymore. That's so stupid. I don't know why this is doing this. It's definitely not like it should be. Because I can't run. It's all the time now on the aiming. It's all the time aiming. I don't know how I can stop it from just aiming. How am I supposed to fight if it's doing this? I can't stop aiming. Do I need to change the weapon or something? What? Why did you die? I did, you didn't die. But I don't... Okay. Okay, change the weapon. Can you stop aiming? I can't stop aiming. It's still aiming. That's so stupid. I don't understand what I can do about that. I can't stop aiming. Because I was aiming during that time. I can't stop aiming. I tried to click on it. It doesn't work. I'm not holding the button to aim. So, I'm just really annoyed. Like, what am I supposed to do about the fact that it's just aiming? <sighs> That's so freaking annoying. Can you please stop aiming? Can you please stop aiming? My man. I think I broke the game. Press aim again. I'm pressing it like a lot, but it's not stopping to aim. I can't run. I can't do anything else when it's just aiming. Oh my god. Esk might fix it. Let's... No. Inventory. I can't open inventory. I'm trying, but it doesn't do anything, because I'm just aiming. Uh, can I get to the save point and save there and then get rid of this sort of a problem? It's just aiming. He doesn't know what else to do, he just aims forever more. Otherwise I can't play. Can't really play if I just constantly aim and I can't do anything else but just aim. I almost walk into that one. <sighs> I should be aiming when a monster comes about, apparently. 
Caps lock, make sure it's not on. Ah, okay, thank you. That helps me a lot. I accidentally pressed it probably when I tried to start running and uh, then it's just aimed forever. Thank you. That help. Yeah, caps lock apparently made me aim forever. That helped me a lot. Thank you so much, Slapinlight. And welcome to stream. Still strange, but at least it's fixed now. That is weird to me. I, I wouldn't have any idea that that could happen. Because this is the way I usually aim with the right mouse button. I didn't know that the caps lock would make me aim forever. I had no idea. Let's use one of these because I lost a lot more health in there than I was meaning to lose. Lots. Oh my. Caps lock. But yeah, I tried to start running, I probably accidentally pressed somehow the caps lock on. And that's where my problems came from then. Just a little bit. <laughs> you don't know the game, but I googled it. Thank you. Alrighty. That is A-OK. -okay. <sighs> well, I, I don't know how long I would have been stuck with that problem if uh, no one would have told me, so... Mm -hmm. Still managed to beat it. Yep. Even though I was just aiming forever. I did use stasis and then I sometimes managed to at least hit him into the back. Even though I was just aiming at him all the freaking time. And couldn't run. Like at all. So that's pretty okay. Hello small fry. Welcome to the stream for you too. Welcome welcome. I hope your uh, week has been a good one. <sighs> My goodness. It's dead. Give me power note. Yes, thank you. Power note, very nice. I was even afraid that there was some other monster in here because considering there's that sort of a uh, problem, but I guess I need to use the stasis here to make it calm down a bit. Because it's not like I'm gonna go through this sort of a problem. I don't know if I can safely go and pick this medipack. Kind of think that I probably can do that much, but then... <sighs> Probably should do it when it's like in here. Somewhere. Power transfer to the ADS. Ship systems, junction box rerouted. I'm making some progress with the tracking grid. One of the cannons is giving me a hard time. Keep moving. Keep moving. Easy for you to say. Okay, at least that calmed down from that. So that's good. There's some more stuff in there that I didn't even notice. Ammo and plasma energy. And the seven day. Well, thank you. The Roy Nasty. You came back, yes, I have come back into here indeed. Thank you very much. I hope you also, Roy Nasty, have had a good week. And welcome to stream. Okay. Yes, I didn't know about an and seven day, but I guess there was. Can I get stasis safely? Thank you. Kindly monsters for letting me get in a uh, stasis thingy safely. I'm certain that there's gonna be some more monsters before we're done with this place, so... At least I would be extremely surprised if I, we can just walk out of here. So it's been surprisingly safe thus far. Hello and good evening to you too, Milan. I hope you have had a good week. Mm. Sisu. Uh, yes, uh, it's with a normal S, not a C letter. <laughs> Otherwise correct, Sisu. Um, yes, kind of correct. It it's means a lot of stuff, yes. It means a lot. It means a lot. A 
Okay. I told you there's a monster around the corner somewhere. You dead? Already? I just did one shot at you. Well, thanks for dying. Easily. For a change. I told you there had to be some more monsters around. Would have been very strange if there hadn't been. I had an okay week. I had the test on Thursday still uh, that I did, and uh, hopefully it went okay. At least it should be decent, but not perfect. Not perfect for sure. Didn't quite read as well as I should have read. Uh, but at least all the other courses have been going well, so... Uh, like, uh, from the scoring from 1 to 4... Uh, 1 to 5 is the normal scoring, yeah. Um, where the 5 is the best and the 1 is the lowest score, I've gotten... One uh, from the four that have actually given a score, I've gotten two fours, one three, and one five. So, hey, it's good thus far, but I think that this might be the three or uh, worth your eternity now. Then, didn't read well enough on this one. Uh, Mika Hakkinen, yes, I know Mika Hakkinen. Top gear, <laughs> okay. Mm, few Finnish birds from watching Kide. Well, at least uh, Tayunda always comes and says Ilta, so that's good evening, basically. Or evening. So, that's easy to remember. Then I usually say the Hyvää Yötä, as in good night. Um, one to five, that's a strict scoring system. Like, uh, it's from four to ten when we, I was, like, in the... Um elementary school and stuff like that. That's uh, the scoring from 4 to 10, where 4 is the lowest and 10 is the highest, but yeah, in the actual university studies and the studies that are higher education, it is from 1 to 5. At least the places where I have been at. Sare. It's just Sare. Sare is pronounced as Sare. Or the... Uh, her Full name is Sate and Denho. You know Perkele? Mm -hmm. Sauna Suomi and Kamas. Well, sauna is pretty easy because you have sauna even in uh, English or I don't know if it's in all languages sauna, but still. <laughs> That's all you need, really. Yes, the. Uh, did I need to come into here? Yes, I presume. Here is opposite. Mm. Well, I hope I needed to game come into here because definitely, at least, I didn't see any other thing that I would have needed to do over there or any other route. But maybe I missed something. Then I need to go back down there if I did. I hope I didn't, though. Uh, yeah, now it's the other elevator. I was thinking that it's probably the other elevator I need to go into now. <laughs> I really need to do that a little bit more often also to turn the aim in when needed. <sighs> God, that's all of it. I was thinking that there's probably something when I go upstairs, but it's just like always. Eh. Mm. Cock's test good is 12 months in Estonia, which is related to Venice. 
kaks teist kūt. Hmm. Twelve months in Estonia. Hmm. It would be kaksi toista kuuta. Jep. Kaks teist. Kaks teist. It sounds like some indeed like dialect uh, or also that could be saying like easily kaksitoista shorter in that way. Hmm. <laughs> that's always fun to say. Mm. Uh, in here the letter or the numbers were like from 1 to 12 is yksi, kaksi, kolme, neljä, viisi, kuusi, seitsemän, kahdeksan, yhdeksän, kymmenen, yksitoista ja kaksitoista. As in and. Yeah. Uh, and then, like I remember that one Estonian that I talked to said that they usually add the I to a lot of uh, endings of words and then nen, as in hevonen for horse in Finnish and then pilv, pilvi for cloud, cloud pilvi and stuff. That's at least what I remember. And of course Hallitus is always great. Hallitus as in in Finnish government is uh, great, very great. Can you do the numbers from 1 to 12 in your dialect? <laughs> in my dialect. I don't know if there's anything special about my dialect in that. Mm. But those are just normal ways to just make it a little bit shorter, so... I don't know. Maybe Sarek can say something more about that. I'm not certain. Anyways, game saved. Let's go uh, forward. So hopefully at least I won't be getting complaints in the Death Space episodes 2 that uh, I'm talking too much about other stuff when I'm supposed to be playing the game. <sighs> I, and I don't want to be saying that anyone would have complained about such a thing, but I understand it. Like when you watch a stream later on, it's not as fun when you would want to be watching a certain game to just be listening to me talking about completely unrelated stuff and maybe not even play the game itself. Um, do I want to go to level 2? Was I in level 2? Which level do I want to go? Huh. Are those completely new levels that I haven't been to? Or not? I'm not certain. Hmm. What is first level? What is second level? Is the second level the level where the one guy is? Don't know. Or is this the second level? What's the first level then? Second level game. Isaac, listen up. I've gone over the MedSci reports. These things are biorecombinators. They take dead tissue, absorb it, and mold it into new forms. One iteration seems to have the sole purpose of infecting corpses. The others, well, seem to be making corpses to infect. And that body tissue we keep seeing on the walls is part of it too. I found a report that says it's a habitat changer. Great. Habitat changer so that they can live here happily. In better environment. I am happy about that. This way. Are you sure it's that way? Um. Really heavy Etelän Pohjanmaa murre. Yes, but I don't know if I'm even that good in it. Style. <laughs> you can say and do whatever you want when it gets uploaded to YouTube later. People can just skip parts of the video if they don't like the lack of activity within the game. I know. I know. But I'm just saying that was the complaint in one Mass Effect episode specifically. And I wouldn't say complaint like I said. I understand that it can be annoying when you especially would like to watch the game be played. So I understand it. But uh, I like to talk about unrelated things too. Like languages and things. So it's a bit of a problem sometimes. Especially like if I do a let's play. I can easily just stay on the game. Where the months the full way. I don't have any communication so I can talk to anyone. But here it's just so much more nicer to sometimes talk about unrelated things too. Even though I should be playing the game too. So I don't know. It's a complicated issue. I don't know. I do not know anything about anything. I wouldn't want to be making people not enjoy it as much but then on the other hand it's me. I like to talk so... I don't know. I don't know what to do about that. 
now uh, when I talk about liking to talk, it brings into my mind the Krim Fandango episode that I just released for, uh, was it a couple of days ago, when that one woman was doing the strip search for the guy and then she started to talk about all sort of stuff, just rambling on about all of her history and everything and everything and everything and everything and that was kind of funny. No, I do not have caps lock on a game. <laughs> no. I just like to aim. <laughs> Usually, not just in some certain dance, certain sanshi, certain, certain. Anyways, <sighs> Kira doesn't have the dialogue mm, dialect that much. Yeah, I don't think there's anything that special with numbers. Yeah, you don't have voices in your head during a let's play, other than just my own. That's enough. True enough. Only some of the numbers would have been different. Yeah, diners ready. Dinner's ready. Well, have a... Uh, enjoy your dinner. Gonna go and good luck with your monsters. Thank you very kindly. Have a good dinner. Loving late. <sighs> I just ate before I came to play. We played some Divinity with Sara first. Not the Let's Play, but we actually started to play it from the start because of the fact that, especially when we've had such a long break and Sara doesn't remember it well enough. Mm-hmm. Bye-bye. Then we need to start to rather see the story from the beginning. Uh, and then just barely ate something and... Oh, welcome to mining administrations. The brains behind the muscle. Ah, oh, are you the brains behind the muscle? I didn't know that. Administration, of course. The brain. Uh, Concordance Extraction Corporation. Uh, I don't see a lot of... I don't know if I should consider these vents or not. They don't look quite like vents, but that's an arrow pointing to this way on the other hand. Those are normal looking humans. Uh, that uh, did it wasn't the most pleasant thing to happen to me. The uh, it's also interesting, like how it feels so different. I don't enjoy the fact exiting vacuum. I was indeed thinking that is this exiting the vacuum when the door would just close? <laughs> so that I can think a little bit and not have to worry and hurry. Hmm. Do I I wanna upgrade something? Only things are colome for tree and neleya. Yep. Probably. I'm not certain if they are exactly the same or not. Good question. I wouldn't be able to say. I guess I might as well upgrade this then. Then we have the, the best damage this can ever do. Then we just need one more to reload speed and a couple of more to capacity. Yeah. That's all we can do with this gun. And I assume there's no point of upgrading these sort of empty spots if there's nothing in them. Just for the fun of it. So, hey, at least this is a good gun. Then I can go and start experimenting on other guns. When this one is at least something I can trust very well. So hey, that's going to be nice. It's going to be excellent, good weapon. But yeah, yksi, kaksi, kolme, neljä, viisi, kuusi, seitsemän, kahdeksan, yhdeksän, yeah. I don't know. Pretty much though I had stuff like yhdeksän or kahdeksan in mind. Kahdeksan. Hmm, not certain. I am getting very confused, especially with just these sort of words. <laughs> oh, nonetheless, return to hall. Entering vacuum. Entering the vacuum of space. What's in here then? Mining administration. Exiting vacuum. Seems a little bit silly that just that small space there is uh hmm like that. Those two, they are just so normal. You forget that they are not standard Finnish. Yhyreksan. <laughs> Kahyreksan. Mm. Yeah. I saw another one. I think there was another normal one too, but I'm not certain. But at least those couple are dead. Extreme deadness. I don't 
have a huge amount of ammo on this anymore. It sometimes feels weird how he's keeping his left hand, like, because he's just aiming on the right hand and his left hand is just staying there, so to speak. Hmm. Vent. I don't like vents. I don't trust vents. Why must there be vents? Strange from B. That's a vent that is on fire. I assume that it would be safe because surely nothing would be living in the fires of that vent. Surely. Credits. He ends with two hands in the second game, okay? Does the Finnish language vary by region? Yes, of course, dialects. Not that much, but certain people speak, speak in different dialects a lot more than some other people do, so some may be a little bit more difficult to understand. Not all by certainty. And I would think that nowadays it's way less people that talk with a uh, huge dialect than maybe back in the day it used to be. 2,400 credits, that's not a small amount at all. Thank you for all of your credit donations. I appreciate it. Okay, well, good that I have one extra power node. Yes. Yes. That's why I didn't want to use them all, at least, so that I can save some for the later. Uh, or for this sort of a purpose. What's this? Gold semiconductor, sure. Plasma energy. Medium healing pack. Break that. Plasma. Large medium pack, mid pack even. And some more credits. This was definitely pretty well worth it. Nonetheless... Hmm. Urexan is a uh, way to say the number 9 in a certain dialect. Yes, sir, is. Those monsters donated a large amount of space money to the <laughs> Kidarusha Foundation. Yes, they did. Mm, as a native English speaker, my brain hurts looking at the word that starts with Ur. What does that word mean out of curiosity? Uhurexan, yes. That's how it said. Uhurexan. Uhurexan. So many syllables for numbers in the Finnish language. Mm. Well, Uhurexan normally, like I said, but then just Uhurexan uh, in a little bit more of a dialect way of saying. But yeah. Of course, we use uh, Y letter U anyways quite a lot. I think that's the most difficult uh, one to pronounce for those who do not have U in their native tongue. Mm hmm, yep. Like I said before, that like. Ux. Uxi normally, and then it's as Ux, as in no I in the end at all and stuff. Okay. Hmm. I came from that big door, right? Then I visited that place. The main atrium, yes. I killed those from this direction, so there's also this door over here. Um, beware elevated electromagnetism. Computer room. Okay. What's this? Next lock. I'll read. Captain's lock. Repair report of infection. Initial infection vectors. It's been less than an hour, but they've spread fast. Flight deck was the first to go after the shuttle crashed. Now almost entirely overrun. We've lost at least half the medical deck and about a quarter of engineering. No information yet from cargo or planet ops, which suggests bad news. This is not what I expected. Yep. You should be expecting the unexpected. Uh, I wonder if this is the right direction. That's a ventilation shaft and I don't love it. I don't love that ventilation shaft either, but what can you do? Yes, I have to be dealing with them. Yeah, this seems to not be the correct direction, so that's good. 
I can freely go and explore this without feeling that I'm going to the right way. I was thinking that the storage space probably isn't, but... But still had to be making sure. So much money now, all of a sudden. Just feels weird. Why am I getting so much stuff? Is there a boss fight coming along? Because we're getting so much stuff? It's very strange. I even found a power note from here. Mm. Alrighty then. Just another power note. Just hanging about. Yeah. So, it's indeed into that direction. Yep, that's what I thought. But I think I've uh, visited all these other little doors now. Um, I don't know. There's no games that can be played in Finnish language option other than maybe children's games. Very strong children's games. And maybe something like World of Tanks can have a Finnish option, but those are very few games. Like Sims 3 I can have a Finnish option, but... Um, it would be interesting to see her year translate them to English as she finds them. Being subtitles, takes a lot to see. Yeah, very rarely is that op an option. And it feels so weird to play any sort of a game in Finnish language. Anyways, so weird. Really weird. Hmm. Ah, okay, sorry. Didn't know that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of fun playing games uh, as a kid without knowing at all what was happening. Especially like the worst game for me to play was uh, definitely back in the day, the Age of Empires game. Because there's nonetheless quite of a clear, like, it's an RTS game and then putting the goals into there, like what I'm supposed to do and then just playing the map and having no idea what I'm actually supposed to do. <laughs> it's just like, I don't mind doing things. <laughs> what are these guys saying? Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Makes sense though, Sarah, makes sense. People from the mountains speak, let's just say, a harder dialect of the language. Mm -hmm. There's uh, I don't... How many is there even dialects in Phoenix? There's quite a few, so... <sighs> Depends... Uh, I guess also, like, which all you would be counting as separate dialects and stuff, I guess. Well, but there's, like, those that are more different, and then there's, of course, slang, slang language stuff. I don't love all these vents. Why must there be so many vents? I don't like it. What the hell was that noise? That sounded very strange. Someone's sleeping over there, snoring. I guess so. Who's snoring? That's definitely snoring. I almost want to go back and save. <laughs> I don't like those noises like at all. Uh. I saw you. I saw you just a little bit. Stop hiding. Come out and play. I'm sure you would like to play a little bit. It's really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's there, but then. Don't want to go to him. I would like him to come to me. You know? That's uh, causing a lot of uh, screen shakiness. Mm. Archaic names. They stocked you up with ammo and everything, now you're scared of a little crumbling. I think that it's a little crumbling, but he's snoring really loudly. Like, why is he making so much noise? Why isn't he less... Uh, noisy? Really? That's not fair. Why 
are you so noisy? Why are you so noisy? That's way too li much noise for a little thing like you are. That's just... You're too noisy, man. Just be quiet a bit. Who were you even eating in here? I don't know. You were eating someone. I wanna take that. I do know that there was a button that I can press. I'm just looking that was there any way for me to go into those staircases, but doesn't seem like it, so I guess we'll just press a button. Um mm. Power transfer to the ADS. Control system suction box rerouted. I'm getting a reading. Almost there. It sounded weird. It sounded very lasery when I shoot through this. Was it really the that that sh changed my shots? But it sounded very lasery. It didn't sound normal to me. Hmm. Strange. It didn't sound like I thought that it should sound. Who was it? Who was making noise? What broke? There's a couple of bodies over there. Just hanging by. Ha ha, they're hanging. Yeah. I died. So I guess that's nice. I guess there's nothing else here then. Which is kind of strange. There's probably gonna be something more in the alleyway of uh, no oxygen. That's at least my assumption, but hey, I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe it is. That last piercing noise they made would make for a good male sound or something. Mm. How is it hanging, guys? Not sure about that all. Nope. <laughs> of course not. I didn't do it. Entering vacuum. Here they can surprise me way better anyways, considering this is like a area where the voices work very differently. Exiting vacuum. The same, by the way, that was not a good way to go. This way. The death. It wasn't that bad, I guess, either, but... Depends if you like hanging or not. Ah, I accidentally pressed cancel. I didn't mean to press cancel. I wanted to save my game. But then I failed. Very miserably. Where do I save? Let's, uh, let's do a save to the intensive care spot. Sure. But yeah, why would I be sorry about something that I definitely did not cause in any way or form? Why would I be sorry about something like that? Doesn't make any sense. Let's go. I guess then to level 3. I'm just gonna test. Level 2 takes me back up to the normal area, so to speak, or to the spa same space where I left from. I presume as much. Is level 1 down or is level 1 then? I guess it should be down. All things considering, but yeah, it brought me here. We can go to level 3. There might be some monster out there, but hey, I don't care. He can, the monster can stay there for now. Level 1 should be ground floor. Yes, it should be. But then just like wondering, that <laughs> is it actually? But yes, logically speaking, it should be. Um... What does that mean? Why are you there? Why were you even looking like you were still alive to some degree? Why are you saying the same thing that we heard our uh, woman say that we were trying to think of coming and rescuing from here? Why? I have many questions to you, sir. And you just walk away. Audio lock. This is Temple. The bridge is fucked. I don't know what went on in there, but I'm not sticking around in case whatever did it comes back. I'm heading for hydroponics to find Elizabeth. Elizabeth, eh? 
If it was a British game, I, it would be ground floor level 1, level 2, you see, which is confusing to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, here also, like, the ground floor is level 1. And the second floor is indeed second floor, <laughs> if you count. It's not level uh, floor 1. But yeah, it's very confusing if the uh, second floor is the floor 1, to me, at the very least. First floor is first. It is the first. Why would it be ground floor separately? Why is the others numbered and then the first one wouldn't be numbered? What's making noises like that in here? I don't know. Extraction Corporation. What's this? Schematic. For a forge gun. My inventory is full. Um, I guess I should go and visit the shop then actually instead and just take some of my stuff away. I knew that I had a lot of stuff, but I didn't realize I had this bad of a situation. So sure, fine, I'll go back to level 2 and we'll, we'll come back to level 3 soon. Soon. I do feel bad about, like, wasting time by <laughs> traveling and saving so often and stuff, but... <sighs> Can't help it. Especially when I don't want to be wasting all the stuff that I would be finding either. That's the loot. Yes, that's what I would want to do. Is there a new monstrosity over here? More of you guys who try to attack me and then I accidentally try to run with the space like I used to in Mass Effect. And it doesn't work. It's it's a very inefficient way to do things. Yes, just space and then everything goes to hell and back. It works well in Mass Effect, but it doesn't work in here. Contact beam. Um, let's move some of these to the stash. Definitely that's more than enough stuff for me. That can be sold. Yes, what would I do with that? I guess I can keep four healing related items. I guess. Definitely don't need this much of this ammo either, to be honest. Plasma cutter, just 65,000 money. I have a contact beer. I could buy that plane thrower too. Let's buy one power note. Sure, why not? In here it varies what is considered the first wall, very disorienting some, sometimes, but on the other hand, it, like if you think about big buildings like a hospital where the first floor is the first floor in certain locations, but then because it goes to the higher elevation, then the first floor can't of course be that anymore because, well, it was the other place, so it depends, I guess, sometimes, but normally speaking, it the uh, first floor is the first floor, but yet yeah, some big buildings and stuff like that, it can be different, but in general, I would think that it's that way nonetheless, I'd say. Most of the time, anyways. See you later, Milan. Alrighty, a lot of loot has been stashed. My inventory situation should be a lot better. Let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slots. So that's not too bad. I hope that nothing got like a vanished because I wasn't there for a while. That would suck, but I assume it wouldn't do such a thing to me in this game. At least, hopefully. Please don't take my loots away from me. That would be horrible. Horrifying even. At least this is here. So schematic. A force gun. Some plasma energy. Um okay, then there's this box that I can open for some more credits. That's the elevator of course. And then I can just go forward and see what the hell is going on in here. And that man is gone. That man is very very gone.
this is a very efficient gun now with all the damage boost though, gotta say. That guy would have taken so much longer to die a while ago. I'm very happy about that. Very, very happy indeed. Yes. That thing sounded like a doko at first. <laughs> if you say so, Tayunta. I guess it might have. Those things are very durable things. Very durable beasties. I do have a good amount of this ammo, right? I have been using it a lot, but I still have plenty, like 65 ammo, plus the ones that I have in this gun already. Oh, I <laughs> accidentally. Well, you are both green. So many green, small fry, Milan, Tayunta, all green. Though Tayunta is more fried green, so I should be looking into that quickly. Sorry. A grotesque doko for sure. Sorry, small fry. Small fry said that uh, it sounded like a doko at first. <sighs> but yeah, you are all green. To me, at least here in the chat. All of you are just green colored. Only Saten Teno is very easy to separate. Plus, Ben Wall Dweller was very easy because Ben Wall Dweller is pink coloring and Saten Teno is red. So, they are only are very easy to be separated. Then all of you have to be so green. It's fine, it's fine. <sighs> Yeah, because it's the problem, of course, when I try to read quickly so that I can continue also playing. I guess we could play some ball with that... That head, or whatever it was exactly, piece. So much stuff. Power systems. These are locked doors. Be rude. Asteroid defense system now online. Alright, we've got enough power. But the ADS cannon's auto targeting is down. I think it's a faulty data cable. I need you to aim the cannon manually until I can replace it. Take the elevator to the top of the ship and head for the cannon pit. But what about these doors? Ship exterior arches. Extreme danger. Maybe I need to go there then later, or maybe that was the right way to come array. That place I definitely cannot go into. Which elevator do you wish me to take? Ah, fine. I'll use the B. As in, what was the what was this even called? What was the B called? It was something weird. Hmm. Let me see. I have to now check what was it called here in the options. The B. B key. Uh. Show me basic controls. Yes. B. Was something weird. Can I even find it here? Yeah, breadcrumbs. Yeah, alright, like I would be leaving breadcrumbs, but on the other hand, these breadcrumbs just lead me forward, so it would be like someone else has left breadcrumbs for me to follow, which is the right direction, and it doesn't make any sense to me, but okay. Destin, I guess that works too. Yeah, now you're more of an orange color. More of an orange color, small fry. I don't know, is it your color? Do you like it? <laughs> Breadcrumbs, Isaac and Kretel. Mm, I guess so. <sighs> Alrighty, let's go. So, manual control of the ship's guns. I don't know how I do that. Storage room. I want to go into a storage room. Authorized personal only? Well, I'm certainly very authorized. I wonder what's behind us a pride event. <laughs> I have so many wonderings. Credits. But that wasn't behind the pride event. It was as close to the pride event. Money. You can't complain when you get so much money. At least I can't complain. Let's be a proud man and not all the time aim. Elevator. Take me away, elevator. Is that the right door now for me to take and not behind me? Is that the case? Seems to be the truth. 
to the left. Well, there is nothing in the right, so... I guess that's not too surprising that then it's to the left. I don't know, what's the purpose of these things? Like, they feel very spiky. How can those be safe here in the Isaac, corridors? you're going to have to cross the ship exterior to reach the ADS cannon. Problem is, we're still getting bombarded by asteroids. Look for cover, or you get torn to pieces. Okay, well, that sounds just absolutely pleasant. And I don't have a other um, air canisters in the any sense other than that one now. Hmm. Well, let's try to do this. Warning, gravity is zero. Warning, warning. Those are kind of fun pictures, though. Entering vacuum. Entering zero gravity. Warning. Multiple impacts detected across the starboard hull. I think that I heard some noises too, but like monster noises, I think, but certain. Just kind of afraid to go and move yet then. Eek. Maybe I started to try to move a little bit too early. Go, Isaac, go. You can do it. Go! I want to go a little bit further this time around. Can't be waiting around forever. Good. Good job, Isaac. You did it. Good man. This doesn't seem to exactly the safest thing to do, though. I know, we don't have a huge amount of oxygen, but we have enough for now, okay? You're fine, Isaac. You're fine. You're totally fine. We can do it. Yes, yes, don't, don't do that, noises. We're here. Just get inside. And you'll be fine. I was thinking that we should be safe here, right? <laughs> You don't say zero gravity oxygen area ahead. I definitely want to save. Rupee semiconductor, that has to be even more valuable, isn't it? Explosions in space! Yes, that picture looks more suited for a caution with floor sign. That's kind of true. <laughs> um, rare electronic components sell at the store for credits. Surprising. Never would have expected that. Yes. Safe. I don't. Don't what? Manual override. I, uh, I guess we should try to do that. I don't exactly know how this will work out, but... Manual do I need to... Override initiated. That's it, Isaac. You're in the pit. Oh, dear. The cannon's a mass driver, so it should punch through anything flying at us. Keep an eye on the hull's okay. integrity. Too many of those things get by, and we're dead. I think I've almost got the system repaired. Just buy me oh. a little more time. Integrity, 71. It's just so difficult to get the mouse <laughs> far enough in here. 
Do I have any unlimited ammo? Minutes, and it should be fully operational. My microphone cord kind of got stuck into the mouse and that's why I've had some problems in the start. I've almost got this thing fixed. Just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer, just a little bit. Hull integrity below 50%. I don't want to get it any lower than that. I wonder if it matters in any other way than okay, just that you have to at least have it like not be way too low. I missed that so perfectly. Okay. Nice shooting, Isaac. Auto targeting is now online and clearing a path to safe orbit. As soon as we're clear, I'll engage the autopilot again. Head to the tram station. I'll meet you there when I'm done. He was able to even destroy one of those peaks just like that. Just automatically. Auto targeting is more efficient than I. Sad times, but full, full extract it is 40 at least, so it's decent, right? It's not that bad. Disregard. Alright, I'll try to disregard. I was going to say I don't know why Isaac was whining about not having oxygen there's clearly plenty out there judging by the amount of fire that's kind of true actually yeah there should be plenty of it <laughs> should be plenty yay my job has been automated well i'm sure we have some other jobs too than just uh, trying to shoot meteors now though i kind of enjoyed it it's a lot safer than the going and shooting monsters in our ship I could just be shooting meteors the full day that does seem a lot safer at least it seems like this has plenty of ammo like that's all the time going a little bit down it was just interesting that you shoot the right side like with the right mouse button and the left side with the left mouse button so that was kind of interesting to me entering vacuum entering zero gravity I assume there's can only be the monsters now coming and trying to kill me not the uh, meteors. Where the hell did you just came out of that ventilation system? That's just... That was just not right. Just in front of me just came out of it. I'm trying to like change this uh, aiming system, but sometimes this doesn't work as quickly as I would hope. Oh yeah, the other guy probably left something for me too. God damn it. <laughs> me and wanting to loot everything. That can possibly have some loot for me. Yes. Alrighty, I'll go back into here so I can have some uh, more oxygen and then we'll head out there again. Give me oxygen. Exiting zero gravity. Hey, those are kind of getting close. Do a bit of better vacuum. job, thank you. So they're getting closer than I would like to see those uh, meteors get in. And there's a lot of them. Do a better job. Entering vacuum. Entering zero gravity. Entering zero gravity. <laughs> Just running happily and there's gonna be more coming from this ventilation sort of things. At least they don't need to breathe uh, oxygen, I guess. So that's something. No more monsters? That's surprising. I definitely expected that there would be more than just those two coming out. Maybe they're behind me because I'm just running forward. Are you a monster? You look like a monster, but you look like a dead monster. Did you die to the meteorite before? Maybe, and I just missed it. Because you're definitely a dead monster here, but I definitely didn't kill you. Not at least to my knowledge. Exiting zero gravity. Exiting vacuum. 
As soon as you left room, the damn turret started slacking off. Yep, pretty much. That's how it at least looked like that. It was uh, having a lot more trouble immediately than when I came back there. <laughs> and not the uh, same way as it did before. That's at least like how it looked like. For sure we is. Okay, doesn't really seem that there's anything else here. Wait! Oh. Isaac Hammond. You're not gonna believe this. You scare me so much. Oxygen levels are falling. Something's poisoning hydroponics air production, and whatever it is, it's filling the deck up with that organic stuff. We're not gonna have any air to breathe soon. But if I understand these lab reports correctly, I think I can make a poison to destroy it. Head to medical. It should have everything you need. No, back to medical. Isaac, get to medical and mix together whatever Kendra's come up with. I'm heading to hydroponics. If I can slow it down, that might keep us breathing long enough to fight it. Oh, this is more and more troubles. And now indeed, I did hear it from someone that we go and visit. I think Scraplord said that we would be going and visiting the same locations again at some point. Um, so I guess I now look, visit some locations in Medical Bay that I haven't visited previously, I presume. So hey, that's uh, great news. I'm so excited about this news. So happy and excited. So happy and excited. Is there any monsters on the way? Possibly. There probably will be. I remember that there were so many ventilation systems right in here on the whole way, so... Ah, most likely. <laughs> Robot Nova's looking. They won't notice if a few rocks hit the ship. Yep. <laughs> That's true. That's extremely true. And that one is still locked. I guess I need to go to the coma ray at some point later. I presume. Probably. Probably. Monsters, come at me. I want to destroy you quickly so I can go and... Uh, Not that button. Very wrong button. I like this gun a lot more in trying to kill these sort of things. These weird things. Whatever they are. I love plasma gathering pretty much everything else, but these little things, it's just so much nicer when you can just shoot, 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 shoot. You don't need to be aiming at all. Just shoot. Nice, haven't seen that one yet. This gun? Or what do you mean? You haven't seen me shoot with this gun or that f weird monster? Or what? What do you mean? That gun? Ah, I've had it, but I use it mostly for killing these sort of little things. And it just shoots a lot, but I can't really cut that well with it. And I do not understand what this alternative mode with it does. Like, it's just co so confusing to me. Tell me what you think that he's going to do now. Like, what what will that do to me? That he's shooting up into the air, trying to scare monsters that can't be scared? Tell me, what is he doing? But yeah, I probably need to go and buy some new guns that I, we can try some different ones. Probably. Should be doing that. <laughs> I have not the slightest idea, eh? Because on the, this one, I choose the angle. Like, I either cut left to right or from up to down. I choose the angle, okay? This... I shoot the air. Boom. There it goes. I don't know what it does. If there is still... The one person that knows more about this game and can advise me about this, that would be something I would love to know because I have no idea what he's doing with that. I don't know. I would love to know, but I do not know. Uh, everyone I've seen play the sticks with the plasma cutter the entire time. <laughs> yeah, I just think that the plasma cutter just seems to be a very good gun, and then when you start to upgrade it, it seems silly not to upgrade it completely, because you have to be then separately upgrading the other weapons. I do want to try the other weapons out too, 
and that's why I got this gun at least, so I can try it. And I do think it's very nice for killing at least this sort of certain type of enemies, but of course there's also the problem of having then more ammo to carry around and all of this sort of stuff, so that's a bit of a, bit of a problem with this, having more guns. But Plasma Cutter just seems to be very good at what it does. But I do want to try the other weapons too. I do have no idea, for example, how the flamethrower would work and stuff. Definitely no idea. <sighs> but if I just want to shoot something quickly and fast, this is a good weapon for that. I just haven't upgraded at all, unfortunately. According to Vicky, the line gun shoots a timed mine. I didn't see anything happen though. Okay, timed mine. I... <laughs> I haven't seen anything of a sort. Where is it there? Timed mine? <laughs> I don't see anything of a sort. But maybe I'm just blind, hey? It, it's possible that I'm just simply really freaking blind and just haven't seen the obvious. Why do I always press the freaking space now to try to run? I hate myself. I hate Mass Effect 3. What did you do to me? Making me always use the space when I don't wanna. Let me see the shop. Let's see, maybe I should be putting this schematic for Forge gun. Again, like this, there's so many different guns that we could be using that it does feel sad when I'm not using any of them. Certainly enough. Ruby Semiconductor, 10,000. Certainly. It's not like I need it for anything. So, if I put all of these to the storage, and then put the pulse rifle to storage, and we'll buy some other weapon which we can try. Uh, any ideas? What should we try? What's gonna be the weapon of choice that we will try out? <sighs> There's a line gun. Wide beam slicer with tight mines. This is the line gun though. That was pulse rifle. Uh, yeah, you said the line gun shoots the tight mines, but I don't have that one. This is the pulse rifle. What does that do in the alternative mode? They call Dead Space for a reason, yeah? This game probably should would have been better off with universal ammo material or something. You just need so much inventory spaces you want to use many weapons. Yep, you do. That is the unfortunate truth. And of course, because you upgrade each gun separately. So, it's kind of unfortunate. It needs a lot to be upgrading a lot of different guns. But I'm not that interested in the line gun, because it seems otherwise very similar, and I'm not sure about timed mines, how well I would be able to put them into use. So I don't want to get that. I have the pulse rifle, that was the one that I just shot just a moment ago. Military crate assault rifle with a high rate of fire. Sorry, that's a pulse rifle you have, it does. An overhead 360 sweep. <laughs> what, what does it do? <laughs> I don't understand what it even means that it does an overhead 360 sweep. What? Seems pretty useless. Yes, it seems pretty darn useless. I don't understand what it does. <laughs> uh, flamethrower. Hydra, uh, Hydra sign industrial torch. Maybe. Force gun short range kinetic booster device. It looks interesting, but I'm not sure how good it would be. Then a repair, remote industrial saw. And of course the problem also, we can buy all of this, but we never get any of these other weapons as a drop or anything of the like. And then a contact beam. Heavy damage energy projector. So guys, tell me, which ones would you like me to try the most? Flamethrower, force gun, repair or contact beam? When we do not count the line gun. It sweeps, wow. <laughs> yeah, it sweeps. I don't really understand what that means, but sure, it sweeps. Yes, mm -hmm. Indeed. Also, I think there was uh, plenty more space in the second game. Mm hmm. Probably. I can't say though, I don't know. Okay, so Milan says contact pin ripper or flamethrower, maybe, I don't know. Well, what about you guys, others? What do you say? 
This <laughs> no one wants the force gun. So <laughs> one of these other three. Tayunta. Sate and Denho. Anyone else? Any opinions? I want opinions. Say, what do we get? Please. Or what would be the most interest interesting thing for you guys to see? <sighs> Flamethrower, Ripper, or a Conduct Beam? Which one? One which? But yeah, definitely at least I think that I'll be carrying around max two weapons at a time, and one will be this plasma cutter that I have upgraded almost completely. The other uh, pulse rifle I will leave now behind because I think I also get a lot more ammo for it because I was carrying it around and now I shouldn't be getting ammo for it then. Well, Ripple would mean you'd have to get up close and personal. I really don't know much about this game, but I would say Ripper. Okay, couple of Ripper things, I guess. So let's get the remote industrial saw. You'd have to get up close and personal. Okay, well, if you say so, let's get the Ripper. I uh, think I even have some Reaper ammo here, maybe. Did I? I have line racks and flame fuels, but no. No Reaper ammo. What is Reaper ammo? Reaper, Reaper plates, I guess. Ammo for the Reaper, yeah? Let's buy at least two, I guess. And then power note. Additional power note. I don't know how much this quantity for. Seems to be very low amount of ammo that I'm getting uh, when I buy some for it. Oh, it does have ammo. This seems like it's going to remind me of Half-Life 2 flinging around so disc. <laughs> Wait, remote? It said remote, yeah. Okay. I wish I saw this from better angle. When I'm aiming. But yeah, it just has those sort of discs in it. <laughs> and uh, I can be starting to aim it and try to shoot those sort of remote discs. I only have 8 ammo for it, so I don't have a lot of ammo. So that's the bad side. I can still switch to this with just the number 2, so that's good to know. Or number 1, I mean. So, 8 plates. 8 little plates. <laughs> Might not be the best time to try this. Might not be the best time to try this new weapon. Exactly. It's very slowly moving plate. It's kind of cool though, but... Oh! Can, do I control it? Like... Huh. That's uh, very interesting. Just also meant that I got eaten a lot. I definitely wouldn't have gotten eaten as much if <laughs> I didn't try to do that stuff. Sure. Yes, Luz, let's use one medium bag. I wonder if items drop change depending on your inventory. I think so, because I started to get that ammo because of the fact that I was carrying the other weapon. Then I started to get ammo for it. And yeah, oh. <laughs> it seems very interesting. Plasma energy. I don't know. I think I need more ammo for this if I want to be trying it more. <laughs> but, uh, uh, of course, when it's not that uh, upgraded, it's not going to be nearly that efficient. Wow. Four more. Now I have overall eight plates to throw, shoot, whatever. Reload. Eight plates. It's kind of fun though, but uh, I don't know. I remember this bad red light. It had a, some sort of a monster behind it. I remember that. More monsters coming about into here. Not yet at least. Yes, that's an exit. Mm hmm Good exit. Should there be any exit signs in a ship, uh, sh like spaceship, that you can never exit? Hmm. Oh, 
to back to medical bay, I guess. Chapter 4, Obliteration Imminent, completed, woohoo! Chapter 5, will be something something. Uh, let's save it here, sure. Le little devotion, okay, little devotion, going to science and medical deck, back to there. Home sweet home. We were here a long time ago. I hate you. Isaac, I can smell the contaminated air from here. It's spreading faster than I expected. I'm trying to isolate it, but it's not going to buy us much time. We have to get that thing off this ship. The chemicals you need are in the chemistry lab. I'll hack the door for you when you get there. <sighs> okay, thank you. I hate you though. <laughs> I hate you when you have to be surprising me like that. I hate it. Just telling you. Jesus lady, you're scarier than the monsters. And yeah, she's scarier than the freaking monsters. That noise just is so... Ah. Where was the bench? The bench was over there if I go all the way over there. I have to go that way anyways, yes. But of course, it's not like I have to be there immediately, necessarily. But it's not like there's anything that I need from the store right now, so... I don't know why I would be trying to buy anything from it. I just sorted out my inventory. Blade. Who wants the next blade? Reaper. That's a... Mannequin doll thingy. You can't stand in the way of God's plan. The natural order. Are you... Are you blind like the rest? Am I blind like the rest? God's order. Looks like someone has reprogrammed the door locks on this deck. And recently too. I guess we're not alone here after all. Someone doesn't want you in this part of the ship. That's great to hear. That makes me very happy. Extreme happiness levels. I'm so happy. Let me just upgrade. I want to go and check the, uh, the the bench at least. I do think that we will be ending the stream soon, considering we did at least get to level 5 or the chapter 5. And that's basically always my call to at least go one chapter forward. And it's a couple of hours of playtime at least again. Have you seen my helmet, man? How well do you think I can see? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, I don't know about this helmet, how well we can see. Mm. This is almost like a Half-Life gun, considering. Considering the blades. Just not gravity gun. Was this the right way? I think so. And the, the bench was... Uh, just around the corners. This is so dark, though. Yeah. Yeah, I control it. But... Okay, now I at least understand it. It is a close-up weapon, but close-up weapon in that way. <laughs> no giant boxes to throw around. Yeah, and it doesn't throw them. They stay exactly in the spot where this laser pretty much like, or halfway. I need to go pretty close to the enemy to actually be able to saw with them. But that's kind of interesting weapon, I have to say. So it's very different. Not very good though if there's several enemies. Very bad in a situation like that. Extremely bad. But interesting. Hey, Reaper Plates. I told you we're gonna get more Reaper Plate ammo now that we are actually using a Reaper Plate. I told you so.
I don't like that. I never liked those vents. It looks like we have company. I think I need the other weapon, to be honest, in here. I don't think that I'll do very well if I just use that weapon all the time. I just don't feel I would do very well. Why is this open now? Mm -hmm. I guess some of these uh, that were locked back in the day are now open. Maybe. This is our second time in the medical bay, after all. So in that sense, I guess it would make sense. But it's not very good if there's an enemy very far away. Seems pretty ammo efficient anyway, you could technically just use one plate per encounter. Probably, yeah. I think you shot one of those plates earlier. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I just would need to let it go. It felt like I shot it, but then it felt like I didn't because it just didn't go the way I thought, I guess. Well, yeah, I wanted to check what sort of upgrades the Reaper then can have. Immediately damage, capacity, reload. Duration. This will upgrade the duration of it. So the plate will stay longer. That seems like the best one for this for sure is. Um. Hmm. I don't know though. Should I really start upgrading another weapon? But on the other hand, it's always like... It feels so silly to be using this if I don't upgrade it. <laughs> it's on the other hand, this one is at least almost completely upgraded. So that's good. Let's at least get the reload speed upgrade, then there's just the two more capacities. On the other hand, is that so important? This is a very interesting gun, though. Mm. Mm. I guess I can upgrade it once with damage, at least. See what I think then later. There's not much left with plasma cutter. Yeah, just a capacity couple. So it's pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice that I don't need to be upgrading much with the plasma cutter. Just basically one of these empty, slo empty slots so that I can get these two cap uh, capacity ones. So that's not too bad. I think I've uh, tried to upgrade it as efficiently as possible, really. How close was there a safe spot in here then? Almost... Well, it is a ways to go, but it's not that far away. Hmm. Ah, it's like in the wall, isn't it? I think it is. I was already... Did it die? Are you now dead? When can I kill you? When can I kill you? <laughs> can I kill you at all? Do I need to kill both of these bots? I wouldn't be able to say. Are you finally dead? You took a lot of shots. I don't like it. Hey, Visseneku, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome to stream. Even if I will be ending <laughs> today very, very soon. But still, welcome to stream to the dead space. Hello, Specky. Nice to see you too. I hope you both have had a good a week. Mm. Good evening, good evening. Okay. 
Well. No. I don't like you. Go away. It's always confuses me with me when it's <laughs> making that noise again. Yeah, this was the battery. Do I need to go like up with the elevator then, I guess? Yeah, I need to go up with the elevator then there's soonishly the save point. Does seem a little bit silly to go back to save. So I'll just go to the next save point, I guess. At least I killed this thing. It just took almost all of my ammo, so I'm not exactly happy about that. Let me try the Ripper gun then. Next. That already had the monster come down from there before, so... I'm sure it's not gonna have another monster in there, surely. Oh. I don't think that works for shooting exactly like that. I just needed to kill it first and foremost, especially when I have this thing to uh, think about doing something with. God damn it. Well. <laughs> Well, I died to that then. Fine enough. I guess that's an okay place to then end if it's gonna load me to the place where I actually saved before. I just have to kill that annoying thing again. Kill monster, go away. Mm. I would have needed to get that into a better spot, better, better spot, so that I could have actually passed it. I was wondering that do I have to try to use it to slow down again on it? But eh. Just would have needed to do it better. Would have needed to do it better. Certainly enough. But the Ripper Gun is interesting, but I don't think the blade goes far. At least it didn't seem like it did. Where am I? Where am I exactly? Ah, just before this uh, bench. Fine, I'll go use the bench then at least. <laughs> Again, because I'm right here. It's uh, put me into there. Not exactly where I was with the safe spot, but close-ish to that place, I guess. Hmm. Uh, let me upgrade again. One point to this thing. And then at least get the reload speed here. That's okay. Could also get health, but it always feels so weird to somehow upgrade health. Kill a monster, go away. Indeed. I would like monsters to go away. Don't like them just hanging about, you know? This is such a dark corridor. But there can't be more enemies in it yet, right? Certainly not. Why would there be more enemies in it already? Would it make any sense? I just have to kill that annoying enemy again, who took so much ammo. Hey, that's also something that I can loot now. More credits. I won't say no to credits. So, that's uh, okay. <coughs> I can't e That did it happen differently than I thought it would, but sure. I got the anatomy model all out of there so that it won't be bother me in the future. And I see an anatomy model. Hmm. Seems like tall order for a dead thing. Fly, fly mannequin. Yeah, it just a little bit flew differently than I thought that it would. But yeah, like, if I just shot once, it still stays there, see? As long as I aim, it stays in the same spot. I just click once on the left mouse button and it just goes into that spot and it stays there. Yep, that's how it works. And it just will do a new one if I click it twice or sus. Oh yeah, I need to look at the mo alternative mode. Is that then? Oh, okay, I understand. I didn't try to use the alternative mode at all, but that's a normal plate. Okay, now I know. 
that's important to know, to be honest. It's important that I know that I can just launch a plate filter away with the space. Okay, that's good. Otherwise, I then can use that other one. Alrighty, good, good. Now I understand better. That's important investigation. Hello, Zaz, and bye, Zaz, because I will be ending the stream here, but I hope you have had a good week. But hey, I will indeed be ending here for today. We have a new gun and everything. We came back to the medical bay. Everything's good, I guess. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed some more Dead Space. We'll continue then again more next Friday. So, what? No! Yes, you're a little too late here. <laughs> so hey, uh, thank you for watching here on Twitch streams and later on in YouTube as well. I hope you guys enjoyed some more Dead Space. I'll see you again for next Friday more. So bye bye till then.